find the limit in part a we got limit of x plus 1 over x minus 1 as x tends to negative 1 so every single time when we are asked to evaluate a limit we simply plug in unless we are dividing by 0 let's see if we simply plug in a negative 1 for x negative 1 plus 1 0 over negative 1 minus 1 that's negative 2 okay that's good 0 over a number is just 0 so the limit is 0 in part b let's do the same thing if we simply plug in negative 1 2 times negative 1 that's negative 2 plus 2 on the top over negative 1 is squared that's negative 1 quantity is squared which is positive 1 okay so positive 1 minus 1 negative 2 plus 2 0 over 0 so we are dividing by 0 so 0 over 0 is not simply 0 or you cannot cancel and 1 so whenever we have 0 over 0 uh, that means if we graph this function at exactly x equals negative 1 we have a hole on the graph uh, for limit it's not bad we can still compute the limit it's just more work now somehow we need to get rid of this zero making factor from the top and the bottom so we need to simplify so we keep writing limit x going to negative 1 of Simplify means we factor the top if possible, factor the bottom, and cross out the common factors. So 2x plus 2, we can factor 2 out. That leaves x plus 1. On the bottom, we got x squared minus 1. So x squared minus 1. 1 is 1 squared. So this is, in fact, a difference of 2 squares. That is, in fact... If we factor, it gives us x plus 1, x minus 1. So the bottom factor is x plus 1, x minus 1. Now x plus 1, x plus 1, we can cancel. So there is no 0 on the top, just 2 left. So we can simply plug in and get the answer in next line. So 2 over, let's replace x by negative 1. So negative 1 minus 1, that's negative 2. And 2 over 2 is just 1 and negative, so negative 1. So the limit of this expression is negative 1.